Hey, 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 it's W5HRO. Well, I picked up another little new toy. These things are getting kind of scarce. They've always been somewhat scarce. This thing, it's another one of these toys that was originally made for the CB crowd. It's a uh, Waywasi catalyzer. It's the JBC 1000 SM catalyzer. Waywasi made a handful of electronics for, you know, uh, you know, 10 and 11 meter uh, stuff back in the day, back in the 70s. They had a few amplifiers. They were, they were around back in the late 60s too. But this thing actually all works. Um, it's all completely original. The CRT still works. And uh, the only thing I've done to this thing so far is I went through and I cleaned the case. And I'm going to polish the rust off of this, the top where the case, it's because of dissimilar metal corrosion. But I'm not really going to have to do hardly anything to this. I mean, there's only two electrolytics in the whole thing, it looks like. I can just change those two. Oh, no, there's another one down there. There's three total. And the resistors, these other Sprague, I don't know if those are Sprague or not, those orange drops, those, those things last forever. I don't know, I can test those and see, but those will probably never need to be changed. I just have two small electrolytics and a bigger one there. I just need to change those. I can eventually light the meter up, but uh, the CRT is still alive. And uh, the only thing I've done is, is I, uh, I went in here and uh, got a little, my little can of WD-40 with a little red nozzle and I lightly sprayed the... Uh, I sprayed some down in the pots so I could work the knobs back and forth. And, uh, and I sprayed some, had the thing tipped up on its front. And you spray it on top of those rotary switches to light them out. You just keep working them back and forth and that stuff sinks down in there to hit the contacts. So uh, the only thing I'm going to have to do is, is uh, it looks like the CRT looks like it's a little bit unlevel. So... I just, what you have, it's getting, the longer it's on, the more it's getting level. But I think the way you adjust this, see, to get the uh, horizontal line flat, you have to actually loosen that screw on the CRT, and you have to hand twist this CRT just a little bit. And I think that's how you do it on this. But I need to polish the front up. The front just has a dirty film on it. And I think I can get that all off without taking any of the lettering off. But, uh... The case is in not bad shape. Um, there was a sticker here, and somebody had tried to get it off, and it was actually pretty thick, and I got the, ma the majority of it off. I just have to get that remaining amount, and I just need to uh, use some of my, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, Goo Gone. I used a little bit already, but the way that sticker was on there so thick that, uh, there's where the screw holes are, the sticker was on there so thick that, uh, the only way to get it off, to get the majority of it off so I could get it down to this, was I had actually, I just put it in the bottom of the, the shower, and I just turned the water on hot all the way and let the water get steaming hot. And that's how, what you got to do to soften the glue. But what I can do is, I'm going to put, eventually when I go to put it back on here, I'm going to put some goo gone, gone on a little bit rougher rag, because I used paper towel and didn't get enough of it off, but I can just rub it really hard with some of that goo gone with, on a more of a rougher rag, it'll take the rest of that right off. And then I could always, if I wanted to too, I could just take some chemical and clean this thing, make it really dry. And I could probably take that uh, wrinkle finish paint and spray it too, make it look with, you know, make it look like everything else I have over there. But uh, I probably won't. I'll probably just get the rest of that stick of stuff off of there. I can get that off. I just need to rub it with, uh, the, I was using a paper towel and it wasn't rough enough. It was already deteriorated by the time I got down to that part of it. But uh, anyway, this, I may have to paint this black thing on this outside. I don't know if I can, I need to t pull this black thing off this front and clean it up real good. And uh, I may need to paint the outer, the, around the outside of it. I can spray that black. That's easy. Just the outside. So, uh, but I just need to polish it up, clean the knobs, probably uh, maybe light backlight the meter if I can to make it look nicer. And uh this thing, you know, that really, if you look at it, there's really no reason why this thing won't work all the way down the DC. I mean, 
you know, it'll, it's designed to work at 30, you know, close to 30 megahertz, but it's, there's nothing there to keep it from working on all the other lower hand bands down the 75 meters. I mean, this thing will work on all the bands, so I could it'd give me something to play around with just to have fun with. These meters, from what I heard, are not that accurate, but uh, it'll work. I mean, it, you know, I'll just set it for what I want. I mainly bought it for my 10 meter setup, but I'm not going to do any more work to this now. I am just was cleaning it up. I'm going to put the lid back on, wrap it up, kind of put it away for now, because I need to get the, uh, the courier uh, repaired. I've got that other one if I have to pull that main transformer out. I don't know if that's what it is. It, there's a cap in there on the output of that transformer across it, which I did replace. Maybe that thing shorted out, but it could have damaged the transformer anyway when it happened. So I don't know. I haven't had a chance to get back to that yet. 10 meters dead now anyway, so I really don't care. I've been on 20 meters today. 17, I've been trying to do some work on 17, but 17 is just hit and miss. I mean, the band will open up a little bit and then it'll just die, but 20 seems to be fairly open for the most part. But anyway, that's the story here on my new little toy here, the uh, the uh, uh, Waywasi Catalyzer, the uh, JBC 1000 FM Waywasi Catalyzer, so uh, pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Anyway, once I get that front, get that film of dirt off the front, that thing will be a lot shinier. It'll look nice and I get this all restored all the way. So that's all for now on the, uh, the catalyzer. 73s, this is W5HRO.